The pipelines used to transport energy resources can run thousands of kilometers. Often referred to as a main line, these typically range from 24 to 48 inches in diameter. And pipe diameter determines the welding process, either hand welding or automatic welding methods. Skilled pipeline journeymen and welders are used for both hand and automatic welding. Automatic welding technology has revolutionized large diameter pipeline construction. Once individual pipes are strong and set up on their timber cribs, other crew members then preheat the steel pipe within a specified range in preparation for welding. In areas where it's not possible to lay a pipe straight due to the terrain, journey person pipe layers work with laborers using special bending machines. These cold bending machines enable bends in the pipe so that it properly aligns with the contour of the land. Journey person pipe layers, called stabbers, provide direction to a side boom operator for final alignment of two pipes. As this process of squaring up is complete, another person known as the clamper locks a set of clamps in place to hold the two sections of pipe steady in preparation for several welding passes. During automatic welding, the first welding process called a bead weld is completed by a welder working from a remote control at the far open end of the pipe. Several additional fill welds, as well as a cap weld, are undertaken. Together, these multiple welding processes provide lifetime integrity of the joined pipe sections. When welders complete a weld pass, they note an identifying control number next to the weld. Individual weld quality is serious business and this information is used during an inspection. Workmanship, quality and accountability are hallmarks of pipeline welding. Today, welders expect to do each weld pass right the first time. They constantly strive for perfection and minimum weld defects. In hand welding, teams of two welders each are often used. If necessary, a more experienced pipeline welder will provide oversight of a junior welder's work. This is part of a tradition of skills, continuity and transfer that characterizes many pipeline construction crews. Pipeline welders use a downhand welding process. This is different than common industrial welding methods. Some craft unions have specialized training facilities for welders. Members can practice their skills under the guidance of seasoned pipeline welders before they're dispatched to a pipeline construction job. All welders must complete a supervised welding test before they start on a new pipeline construction job. The stakes in pipeline welding are high. Pipeline owners and contractors make all reasonable efforts to anticipate and prevent errors that could lead to future problems. In addition to setup, bending and welding, journeyman pipe layers and welders are responsible for construction processes called tie-ins. Tie-ins are used to connect sections of finished pipeline to other parts of a pipeline infrastructure. Welding and pipe laying sets the pace for the entire pipeline construction process. Productivity is key. Welding and pipe laying professionals take seriously how their work contributes to a project's overall cost effectiveness. Innovations in welding, and pipe laying in particular, have transformed pipeline construction into a highly coordinated, efficient, mobile manufacturing process. If this sounds interesting to you, check out the unique rewards segment for information about the benefits and rewards of pipelining careers.